Okay, today we are putting the IO Play 2 into a Mitsubishi FTO. And here we are, standard dashboard, head unit's fascia has been removed, but apart from that it's a standard Mitsubishi FTO dashboard. Sorry, right. double glue on there or something. Just to... <laughs> someone's not used ISO blocks. Oh no, they've cut and shut. Because that's where your ISO blocks should be. So, all oh right, they've cut the ISO. They've blocks. cut the ISO blocks off. So that is what it shouldn't look like. Yeah. And that that's what it should look like. Is what it should look like. And the IO loom that you've just So there's the IO loom. Or plug. And the IO loom plugs. Straight in. Straight in. Using the standard ISOs. Makes the job easier. That the IO yeah has its own amplifier inside so it can run the speakers. So you could effectively not put the stereo in there at all and you'll still be able to run music from the IO because the IO play has got its own little amplifier. Yeah. Or you could run it into here so that you have your stereo on aux and then you've got all your controls from your stereo. Handy if you've got a separate sub or an amplified system, something like that. Okay. You don't have to, the choice is yours. As you've got the SOT, I'm not going to use the PC2 lead, I'm going to carry on using the SOT, but I'm going to cut that part out. Basically, because we could go from Car plug, yeah. To ISOs, we could put the the IO loom in there, yeah. Take it back to car plug, and then use a PC2 lead to radio. But there's no point having all this half, so we just keep it ISOs. Right. And then that will go straight in on the IO loom. Right on the IO loom. As these two aren't getting used, that's before. Cut that out of the way. Stuff. That's just the earth. Just a... Some cars don't have an earth on the oh, okay. radio. They pull the earth normally through either a chassis bolt on the main radio or the aerial. Right, I'm with you. But where we're putting a lot more power through than the stereo, we always put in a set of own earth. Otherwise, right. you get the interference and the whizzing noise. Right, so it's just now. So there. that's how it runs, and it goes down into the IO, back into the car. And that end goes to the that IO. Plugs in the IO. Yep. Fabulous. So it's really. Quite simple. Well, Easy. When you have the right when you have the right leads. We could right have sat leads. there faffed around, we could have cut the blocks off, put in the chop blocks and all that. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Keep it nice and it's a lot neater, isn't it? Yeah. And if you ever want to take it out, you just unplug, unplug, plug it together. Oh, right. those out. Okay, cool. No cutting, no shutting, no nothing. You just nice and easy. Fabulous. And if you wanted to if you had the original stereo, you could unplug, plug the original factory loom back in. You've got no cut wires here at all. That's good. Yeah, it is. It's quite. Stick. Right there on the bottom. Oh, okay. There's a sticky pad that sticks on that, and then that yep. clips on there. Be good to record it. Do a bit of degreasing. 
cool. We'll clean that way, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> and then degrease that. In the middle. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's good to give it a good press down for 10 or 20 seconds. Is it like an anaerobic type thing? Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't put your finger on the sticky bit to see if it's sticky. <laughs> it is sticky, trust us. And hold it down, and the first couple of days, don't wiggle it. Okay. Let it stick. Once they stick, they stick. They don't mark. They can, you can get them off, but they're hard to get off. But they're supposed to be like that. Cool. I'll tie that up on there because it's nicer. It's got such good macro lens on it, you don't have to go to macro. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's going down there. I'll take you having it there, yeah? Yeah, I think that's best because when I'm driving the hands naturally fall to that point. Yeah. Pod lead labelled up it goes in there quite simply. Yep. Da 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 da. Your module. Da 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 the module. And then you have your main lead. What's so impressive about this? It's almost foolproof when you just come to this point. You know, click click click. Yeah. As long as everything's in. Yeah. I've got the walk sleeve as well. Lock that locks, yeah. Locks. We, we've, we've got that demoed in the other one. There's the USB lead. USB lead. And the aux lead. Which they're the ones that could go to your aux in, in your stereo. Right, oh, okay. Just plug that in the aux in the stereo. Yeah. And that's obviously the input which I can put back down there in the same place. Yeah. There we go. all in, and actually that.
just on there. Right? stick about there. Again, firm but not too hard on the controller. Yeah. Just because you don't want to force the buttons in. But you do want a nice good firm stick. New proud owner of an IO. Yeah, you are installed. Cool. Car audio system. Music auxiliary lining. Audio okay. equalizer. Settings. I'll take no responsibility for lining. what you're about to hear. <laughs> So that's just plug straight in. Yeah, plug straight in. And where and does when that you go? scroll back. iPhone. iPhone. Recognise it's an iPhone. You can now play. And that is so without the stereo. Without the stereo. Perfect. From there. Cool. That's it. Yeah, you are installed. Installed. That took about hour and a twenty minutes. Including walking over the But you did. Yeah, you did have to stop to go and get the the, the lead. Yeah. So I'd say, and it was slow because we obviously do yeah. it slowly for the camera, aren't we? or slower for the camera. Yeah. If you were, if you're getting paid by the hour to do this, you could do it easily in an hour, easy, half hour, forty-five minutes.